Well, fellas, we're still here. It's been a miserable day for Biden. And I remind you that I didn't vote for Biden. I just thought I'd show you this here Western Star. It's 4900 SB. Stands for setback axle. So this has got a power screen. And um, this is a Lydell trailer, which they're back to building trailers. So the Fontaine design come from Mitch Lydell, who passed away several years ago. Um, I understand they're back in business to some extent. I'm not sure how much, but it was a really good trailer. And um, that's where the Fontaine design come from. The uh, Manic Low Boy is Mitch Lydell design. And this is a Premier Track 330. So this is a pretty good looking rig. He's from Tennessee. Probably hangs out with Tim Gorley. Looks really nice inside here. Got shut off valves to each airbag. See, I don't even have that. I should though. It's really good looking rig and this on this power screen so this is a magnet so as the stuff comes through the screener there's a piece of steel in there it'll suck it up to this magnet and this conveyor belt turns this direction and it'll kick the piece of steel out yep that's how that works gentleman by the name of Ricky White, a fine gentleman that rescued me in Illinois one time not too long ago. He moves a lot of power screens for the local dealer. So that's a pretty nice looking setup. Might have to check these trailers out. We've got what we've got, and we got what we've got coming. So we'll see. And this is not a modular trailer. Mine's not modular either, which is kind of a problem. But it is what it is. So if you voted for Joe Biden, you're a fucking dumbass is all I can tell you. None of those people had to die. And they died because of Joe Biden. Plain and simple. So that's Washington. And this is where George Washington come from. Where they chopped down the cherry tree. I, I don't really know. Walk over here and take a look at these genies. But I don't think America will do anything about Joe Biden because we're all just fat, dumb, and happy, and complacent, and we kind of like how we're, our life is, or at least that's generally speaking. So I don't think anything will happen. I think he will remain in office. And he's not going anywhere. Although he should be gone today. As far as I'm concerned, Donald Trump's the best president in world history. 
your mileage may vary, but I stand with Trump. So this is just a genie lift here with extra capacity, extra. And this is a four by four lift here. This is a scissor lift. And this is what you call an up and over. So it goes up and then it'll run out that direction. <clears throat> and these babies will get stuck on flat ground. Hear how rough this guy's APU is running? Still sounds like it's, you know, all choked up. My, mine does that sometimes as well. It is it's ridiculous. All this emission shit, which it doesn't have DEF or any of that shit. It's just, you know, runs off a straight dyno fluid. But you can hear that. It is definitely choked up. Mine was so choked up the other night, I just had to shut it off. I thought there was something wrong with it. Comes a Montana truck with a boss hog bumper. But I'm still here. I negotiated on a couple of loads, one local load that they said, we really need you to do it. We give them a fair price. Nah, it's a little bit out of our budget. They're still trying to get it moved. Nobody will take it. I don't know what they win with that game of just letting it set. It was a 1050 deer dozer, pretty light, weighed about 92,000. Uh, but we would have run it into Idaho, and we really need to make our way back towards Colorado because we can get loads out of Colorado. Here's your Trail King bottom dump trailer. This is a flat top peak. This is a west northwest setup. As you notice, it's got a pusher axle on it. And this is a cattle hauler. And guys, I gotta be straight up with you. I, I love animals. I hunt and fish. I eat beef, pork, chicken, you name it. But when a hog or a cow makes eye contact with you through one of these holes, it's pretty hard on the dude now. That kind of breaks my heart because that's a prison wagon, right? You see it's dirty in there. So what's that tell you? They're gone, they're ribeyes. And I'm not trying to sound like a, you know, a weak ass or anything because I eat beef and my uncle my great uncle's a butcher and I've even helped him butcher a few beefs over the years and I process my own deer and, and I'll always eat it but when they make eye contact with you it's a little tough and uh Everybody knows the name of my truck is the dude, right? Well, y'all check out my OSHA approved shoes. I bought me some Hey Dude shoes. I gotta admit, they're really comfortable. Well, this is a rough looking car hauling rig. There's Captain Sergey's hot rod. There's a Dodge Ram up there. I'm not much of a Dodge fan. Well, I'm not. I've had a few Dodge pickups. And uh, one with uh, Cummins diesel and one with a V10. And you need to have the damn 
Exxon Valdez towed behind you with that V10. So it looks like beside us, this is a generator. We'll slip over here and look at that. I don't really see much in here that's cool. It's a good looking Pete. Again, this pusher axle, that makes it a Northwest truck. That Their laws up here are totally different. Obviously, right? Should be the same everywhere, but they're not even close. So he could put this pusher down and he can get a little heavier. This is a drive in. It's a Tim Gorley special. You guys know who Tim Gorley is? Old Hot Rod Tim. So we stayed in the truck stop all day in the restaurant and I mean I beat the bushes hard to get a load even had one guy that we run for a lot said hey I know you got a truck up there you want to move this load to New Mexico I was like well dude we're, we're 10 axles your load weighs 70,000 he said well I can't pay 10 axle money I said well we're not moving it so we sit. So this is a Cummins, powercummins.com. So this is a big generator. So this would be the engine right in here. This is probably the generator end. This is probably the uh, radiator end. And this color right here tells you it's Onan, right? I'm guessing, I mean, that's Onan's color. Onan is a Cummins company. We'll go to the other side and see. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it hard one more time in the morning. And if we don't find anything, we're gonna book it to Colorado um, or closer to Colorado because we can definitely find something in that area. Yeah, I can't see what that says. But it's definitely Cummins. And the green tells me that it's, you can see here's the engine right here. And then down here would be the generator in. But the green tells me it's Onan. So anyway, so I'll try to add to this if uh, anything else cool comes in the yard. I did have an interesting experience while I was in there. This, I think she was a gypsy, but she come in and sat down at the table next to me and turns her phone on of her singing, a video of her singing. So everybody in the restaurant had to listen to that shit. And I'm trying to have a phone conversation. I finally had to put my phone on hold and tell them to turn that shit off. She didn't like that too much, but I don't care. There's really nothing else cool in here to show you. see anything anyway looks like there's a load of well there's a load of steel over here that says trump on it we'll go look at that it doesn't say biden because if it said biden on it, it wouldn't be strong enough to hold up a fucking building right <clears throat> it says trump on it because it has a spine way it should be so yeah a little steel hauler I didn't go to the bar last night and drink a margarita I just went to bed you can feel winter's coming here the nip is in the air really see anything else cool in here. 
That's a pretty cool looking KW though. He's got the blacked out wheels. This is a T660. He's got that pusher axle. <clears throat> so that makes him a Northwest setup because he's from Washington. Says Trump right there. <clears throat> this is some kind of feed hauler. Tell with all these axles, and you can see this here little conveyor belt deal. And so this is full of feed. And what they'll do is this will go along, and it goes up inside the trailer and circles around. And back here. I guess they're hauling feed. It looks like they might be hauling lime or something. I don't know. So they open this up and then it pushes this out the back. And that's how that works. So guys, that's really about all I got today. Um, I'm kind of still on Florida time, so it's about my bedtime. And... I hope all you guys are doing well. If you voted for Biden, you owe everybody an apology. And I'm ready to receive that apology. So go on and put that in the comments that you apologize and you're sorry that I have to deal with. Well, that's a wide hood. That's actually called a T, I think a T900. It's a different version, but anyway, so go ahead and put it in the comments that you apologize and I have to deal with his dumb ass. That ought to get some of you guys jacked up. So that's it, guys. This will probably take two days to upload. That's about how long they've been taking. And... Uh, go from there. So you guys have a blessed day. We'll see you on down the road.